Hi everyone, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and welcome to Vlogmas. Today I am putting the finishing touches on this knitted Christmas decoration. Now this is a pattern by Frankie Brown. I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called, but uh, I, will link, uh, I will link it in the video description. It's on Ravelry. Frankie Brown is my favorite knitting designer. Uh, they've just got so many amazing patterns. I've done, I've done quite a few of them. Now, this is a really, really interesting pattern I found um, because the tree, as you can, as, well, you can see here, it's, it's done completely separately. Um, I'm, oops, dropped a stitch, don't wanna do that. Pick it up. Um, just let me finish this little bit. And uh, so that's that little bit done. And what I found really quite fun about this project is that you've got the background color, which is knitted all at one time. And then you've got these little pops of color, which is just knitted. So you knit, knit the background color to the row, and then you knit 10, well, in, this, in these green ones, you knit 10 rows just in these colors. And then 10 rows where two rows are going to be. And then it just sort of folds over and it looks so good. I, re I lo absolutely love this design. So that's that green one, or the, the green of the tree done. And then, so I'll just cut that off. And if you flip it over, all tangled, it looks like this at the moment, but then you sort of fold it up and sew it all up together. and it's quite neat for the rest of it. I'm not quite sure what I did at the bottom here. That was, uh, I was getting used to the pattern there, but by the time I got onto the trunk and the tree branches, I started getting it to look quite neat actually. So I'm gonna finish this off today, I hope. And my daughter has already claimed this as her own. So I finished that last little color pop and then you just carry on with the pattern just knitting a normal row. And this is one thing that I absolutely love about Frankie Brown's designs is that they're step by step written out for um, really, really, really simple step by step instructions that anyone can follow. Because I've, I've, some designers expect a certain level of knitting knowledge, but um, Frankie Brown doesn't seem to. Uh, their patterns are just incredible. So then it's just knit like this. So that's, that's how it is now. I'm going to finish it off and then we'll be back to sew on some pretty decorations. I finished this decoration and I've added a, a knitted eye cord border, and, which I think makes it look really nice and finishes it off really well. Um, I am really, I can never ever remember how to make these. So I'm really grateful for Frankie Brown's step-by-step -step idiot proof instructions. Now I've got this cute little, this little button that I'm going to use as the star. So what I'm going to do, this is what I do when I add buttons, is I just loop the thread through the button. So it's nice and secure. And then I can just, add it exactly where I want it on here without having a load of faff about where, uh, like trying to find the, trying to find the holes, trying to position it. I think this works really quite well. This is what I do whenever I add buttons to anything. So what do you think of that? I think it looks, I think it's really cute. Do another little loop around just to secure it. There you go. Now I've got these really cute little snowflakes that I want to add on here. Maybe something like that. And these, but these little beads look really nice as well. And I thought about adding this little snowman in the corner. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to sew these on now. I'm not going to bother to cut this thread because I am going to, I'm gonna back this 
So I don't really, I don't really mind how bad this back looks because <laughs> I've got some felt that's gonna go on the back. Make sure the snowman's the right way around. There we go. I'm going to add some of these beads. Now these are very small, so I'm going to just start off up here. And again, this is the best way. That's the way I like to start off any sewing that I do. Just loop it over like that. And then add them like this. There we go. I think that looks really nice. I know I keep saying that, but I do. I really like how these look. And because these are quite small, I can add a few of them. I just thread them onto the needle where I want them. Try not to pull too tightly because I don't want uh, the the my knitting to bunch up. I think I might have pulled a little bit tight on that one. Let's try and loosen it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. See, I can just loosen it slightly. Yeah, perfect. What do you think? I'd love to know what you think of this. Have you ever knitted decorations like this before? Have you knitted any of Frankie Brown's patterns before? Um, or crochet, there are some crochet patterns as well. I don't really know how, how to crochet. I'm teaching myself, but I'm just, my biggest struggle is holding the yarn in my left hand because the way I knit, I hold my yarn in my right hand and I'm just, I'm really struggling with that. I think once I get holding my yarn in my left hand, I will get crocheting, but I just, haven't had time to practice really is my biggest problem. Adding in my last bead, which I really like this. Now this snowman is being a little bit twisted. I don't think I sewed him up quite tight enough. So I, oh, don't put it too tight, otherwise it punches. <clears throat> I'm just going to go around a couple of times with this. Uh, I normally do this with buttons, but because these little snowflakes are so small uh, that I don't, I didn't bother securing them in quite securing them in quite the way that I do usually. But this is bigger, so it needs a little bit more. You see, the back isn't that bad, but it's not the prettiest, is it? Oh, especially here. Goodness knows what I've done here. Oof. Oh no, that's the end. <laughs> Silly me. Normally I cut the ends, but because I'm backing this, I'm not bothering to cut the ends. So if they come loose, then there's plenty in there already. There we go. Just tying that off. Right. Oh no, I've dropped a stitch there. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't know if you can see here, but this stitch has been dropped. I'm not going to um, pick it up because I just can't do that with I, I, I with this. If it if it was in the main pattern here, I'd be able to pick it up easier, but I just can't with I cord. So I'm just going to sew this together with a little bit of red thread and cross everything that it doesn't drop and start unraveling. Hopefully by doing it this way, I can secure it. And it's on the back of the pattern as well. So hopefully it won't get, it won't be seen. Knot it off and then I'm just gonna tuck the tail of this thread through the, through the knitting and then cut. I have said about the backing, but I've just got the cardboard. I'm going to stretch out like this, try and give it a little bit of shape. And then I've got this red felt. I am going to not cut it straight away. I'm going to sew around the edges there, slide, slide that in 
and then cut and sew this last piece. So I've got my red thread, pin this in place. I always start sewing thinking, oh, I don't need to pin, it won't move, I know where I want it to be, and then everything moves and I have to un unpick and re-sew and <laughs> all the time, it always happens. So I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to try sewing red on red so that you don't see the, the, this red thread coming through onto the front of my knitting and the green. That's what I am trying, going to try to do. All I'm going to do is just a back stitch on this. I don't know all the fancy, <laughs> all the fancy stitches. I'd love to learn one day. So yeah, it's not coming through on that side. I've sewn up three sides of this. So let's just slide this in. I really hope it fits. There we go. Yay! That looks really quite good. And now I just need to cut this side of the felt. I'm going to very, very carefully just make sure there is enough felt to sew, I'm hoping. One thing I absolutely love about felt is that it doesn't fray. So I don't need to then now go over the edge to make sure it doesn't fray. I can just sew this up. Where's my needle gone? There it is. This is almost finished now. I have sewed up the back here. And the last thing I need to do is add a little strip of I-cord for the hanger at the top. Now this is just a simple four stitch I-cord. Um, there's tons and tons of uh, um, tutorials on YouTube about this. My favourite tutorials usually come from uh, Very Pink Knits. I like their tutorials. So I recommend searching them if there's any sort of knitting terminology that you don't understand. Every single time I have to do uh, German short rows in something, I have to go and look it up on uh, uh, Very Pink Knits because I forget. And there we have it. Nice and simple. I'm gonna go hang this on my Christmas tree. And there we go. I really like this. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I think it's, it was a really fun pattern to make. I loved learning how to do these little pops of color. And now that I know how to do them, I want to try making my own pattern in this sort of style, not a Christmas tree, but um, maybe a Christmas stocking or a present. I don't know, I'd like to try something. I think it would be quite fun and challenging because I'm not really a, a pattern designer. I, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> designing patterns, but this feels like something that I might be able to have a little play around with. Thank you so much for watching this Vlogmas. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're a knitter, do you think you'll try making this sort of decoration. Do you make your own decorations anyway? I'd love to know. Please let me know what you do. If you're a knitter especially, link me to some patterns because I love knitting things, decorations. And tune in tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching.